<laughs> so yeah, welcome back everyone. Now the third maps and the G Sports final. Strengths versus Kilson, we already are or players are already readying up, so let's see what Strengths can do on this map as he just lost Battle Forge to Kilson. Obviously Kilson has shown really good uh Strengths has shown really good performance on this map early on. And he just barely survived that fight with 4 HP. Uh he was hitting he was hitting a really good shotgun in between, but other than that, things still look pretty equal. I mean, Strengths has got 100 armor and so does Kilson, but Kilson uh, will probably have to leave the red armor area because he will not be able to get on it. Kilson is starting to rocket jump up onto the higher platform and that will mean that you also will miss out on the mega health. Hmm. Yeah, Strengths is actually dropping down, but he's missing uh, missing the jump. And look at that fight here. And if Strengths hadn't been a, hadn't had a, such a good timing on the item, he probably would have not decided to drop down. But it just shows, it shows that Strengths uh, decision making is just. I mean, it's so good at times because he has got the timing. It's just kind of like Dahang, who bases his uh, decision making on his timing, but it just shows not, you know, it's just Strengths has got such a good aiming, so even though he has like only two seconds left, he will still be able to do tons of damage. And look at that, just in time back for the red, and Kilson is already waking, waiting down there. And I don't think that that was the best option for, for Kilson at that particular uh, moment. He should have uh, really just worked the yellows a little bit more. And I don't think Kilson is going to do that again though. The, uh, uh, and now he can't. If he decides to jump down to the red, he's going to die anyway. So there's not really an option Kilson had in that fight. I would have backed out of it. I don't know why Kilson didn't decide to, he probably knew that he would just take too much damage anyway and Strengths would be chasing, but uh, what are you gonna do? 3 to the minus 1, 2 and a half minutes. Kilson finally jumping onto the red, getting it. This uh, is what he has been waiting for for quite a while. It's his first red red pickup, and Kilson has already shown in uh, in his earlier games that he's very uh, he, that he's very good in, in, in control. So it's really hard for you to get any of the major items. So that was a really good pickup for Kilson here, and he, now he's able to actually play a bit cocky here, right? Uh, use uh, some good rocket splash, but still, strength has like uh, 200, 150. And if Kilson decides to go center map, he's gonna get pushed away by Strengths. And Strengths decides to rocket jump up, and there's no way for Kilson to survive that push. And I mean, if, if Strengths gets a couple of more frags, like three or four, I don't, I don't, I don't see Kilson, uh, you know, coming back from this. I don't think it's gonna be an option. And this will be interesting because Kills will just spam nades as long as he can. <laughs> and finally, uh, Strengths gives up. And I think he just waited uh, as long as, like, he waited so that he could pick up the Mega Health. So he exited that fight, took the Mega Health and was just back in time for the red. So just perfect play once again, just showing that he knows the timing and just uh, decides to yeah leave that fight because he knows he can just play the items and that way just deny kills and any, any chances
Yeah, finally, Kirsten uh, being able to pick up some armor here and hitting one good rocket and going into all the fight. Strength is still there, but hitting one good rocket himself and Kirsten joining the spectator, forfeiting the game. So, like I assumed, a couple of more kills and uh, Strengths would just seal the deal. So, yeah, this could be possibly the last map. Uh, that means... That Strengths not only won the Zotac, but also won the G Sports Burt's Cup. So that is that is a nice income, if you ask me. First price are 150 euros. Plus that Z Zotac money, 250 euros for a couple of hours. That's not too bad. Ooh, ZTN. This could go either way, really. I mean... Yeah. I mean, it really depends on the spawn, because I, I think... I mean, Kilsen has shown when, when he's in control that he can really do do a great job of, of killing strengths, but if he's not getting control, like, ever within the game, it's just really hard for him to, to, do, to show anything that he's capable of, I think. So, if we get equal spawns, this could uh, look really promising for Kilsen. Alright, this, this could be the deciding map in, in, in this matchup. And I'm gonna follow Kilsen right off the bat, he's gonna get the yellow and the mega. And the shaft, and just gonna decide to actually jump up and take the jump pad. And I didn't really expect strengths to be there. I mean, sure, you could usually go there, but Kilson taking the jump pad is like a very obvious choice. And now strengths is actually uh, losing out on this fight. And Kilson will be able to grab the next red. And I think was he hit? I think he was hit by the rail before he jumped. Well, he only has 26 HP. I'm a bit confused here. Anyway, oh, beautiful execution here by Strengths, uh, who really hit um, the first good rocket, pushing Hilson away. Strengths is in a good position for the next strat, and he's just trying to figure out where Kilson is. Kilson is waiting above on middle ground, and he's hitting one really good rocket, forcing Strengths away. But uh, Kilson still has only got 70 HP, and oh, there's a good rail by Strengths. Uh, killing Kilson. But Kilson should know the mega time. He's dropping down, but with this ping, it's gonna be really hard to hit good plus mega shot, so. Hmm. To really, Kilson should opt to just play it safe. I mean, if, if he's just gonna run into strengths like that, trying to do as much damage as possible, that is nice and all. But I think he's gonna. He's gonna lose a lot of frags until he actually is able to kill strengths. So should just really play the yellows and maybe get just get the timing on the on the red and the, on the mega and then when they're either um when they have close timing just grab either one of them. But that's obviously easier said than done. Yeah, strengths hitting good accuracies here, forcing kills in the way. Ah, there are good rockets by Kilson, but I don't think Kilson can stand here and uh, uh, wait for too long. Should just uh, try to get the kill now before the mega. Yeah. Well done. So now Kilson is finally in, in control, but he can't really stay at the yellow because Strengths just spawned above him. Things are still qu quite equal. I mean, Strengths has got like 120 armor and Kilson has got 100. And the next, right, uh, the next fight for the red and the mega will be very deciding. So it will be interesting to see uh, who decides to take what item. Looks like uh, Kilson's probably gonna go for the Mega because he's already got enough armor. If he takes up the Mega, he might even rocket jump up, but 
Ah, uh, there was not enough time. Strengths had good timing on that red, so there was not really, uh, wasn't really enough timing for Kilsen to do an aggressive move here. And oh, look at that shaft. And Kilsen is actually killing himself with the rockets. Probably a bit disappointed. Oh, uh, look at that. What? <laughs> wow. That teleporter kill uh, was really good for Kilson because now he can get the red. Possibly just turn this game around with that teleport effect. I don't know how much armor strength had, but it was a lot. It was a fucking lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, this is awesome. Kilson with that teleport effect just turned the whole game around, just like that. He's gonna get the mega, Three, two, and he may even one, be able to uh, force a spawn at the rail. Nah, not gonna happen. But still, a fight four to five. Now it's up to strength to get back here and he's probably going to die in the process. Yes, yes. Well done, Kilson, 5 to 5. I mean, it's still possible. Uh, we, we still got 5 minutes left, but it, it's going to be interesting to see what Kilson uh, will be doing while being, uh, while being in control, because I think he's going to play a lot more aggressive than, than Strengths did. Yep, 7 to 5. Strengths has to be uh, really, really careful here. That actually wasn't too bad. I mean, you, might have, you could just think, why did he actually take that fight? And look at that. Because he's got the timing, he just knows that he can uh, yeah, just force that fight. Take away that mega health. Push away Strengths and uh, Kilson. And now he's actually... Well, he's not entirely back into the game because Kilson still got 150 armor more, but um, Strengths is working really hard to get this control back. Oh, well, it's not looking too good. I think he's really, he's really pissed off about that teleporter kill. Wow. And I think Strengths just outshafted Kilson, although he had terrible positioning. So four frags is still possible, and now finally Strengths has over 100 uh, armor. Strengths gets the next red. He, he can uh, he can surely turn this around again. Yeah, five seconds to the next mega. Strengths is already there. Pushing like Kilson. Kilson just waiting uh, to get the next red, but this could be really hard for him because Strengths is rocket jumping up and still on positioning. Yep, just grabbing it. Three minutes to go. Either Kilson, uh, Kilson will probably just try to uh, run down the clock, but I don't think it's gonna work out for him because it was just too early. Three minutes is still, you know, a lot of time, so. If he had played a bit more aggressive, either on the uh, on the mega or on on the red, he would have maybe been been better off. Oh, but good rockets by Kilson, and now he steals away that red, leaving Strengths with hardly. Uh, well, I was about to say with hardly anything, but Strengths just getting the mega health and the yellow armor is just boosting him right up. Three frags to go. Definitely possible here for Kilson, uh, for Strengths. 
some good old, uh, good initial shaft damage and strength actually deciding to go for the yellow straight away denying that extra resource kills and actually needed to get back into the game ah uh, strength just hurt him down at the rocket launcher yeah kills is just trying to run the clock But if, if the strength gets a frag in, in the next couple of seconds, I mean, he, he can still do it. He doesn't having 80 HP. Gonna do the teleporter dance. Yep, superb time by strengths once again. He's he's gonna he's gonna be in uh, just in time for the rat here. And Kilson's hiding. Hil Kilson's hiding at the rocket launcher now, going to the teleporter. Strengths meanwhile looking for him at the at the yellow. There he's trying finally trying uh, finding him. Kilson going down. Two frags to go. Two uh, one minutes left. One minute warning. And uh, if if Strengths wins this, he's he's gonna be the winner of the G Sports. Uh, Final, winning 150 euros, and now he's speeding up, trying to chase Kilson. Oh, he's hitting that very crucial rail, but now he's slow. Will he be able to uh, hit the rocket? It's actually rocket jumping up, trying to deny <laughs> the exit for Kilson. Now it's just a matter of timing. Can oh no! Oh, <laughs> he actually kills Kilson, but he oh, Strings dies as well from that rocket. So that means that Kilson won this map. Could have gone either way really. That was that was a really unexpected outcome. Impressive. Yep. It was, it was quite funny. Ooh. Right. LF frag should be disabled. <laughs> <laughs> no, telefrags require a lot of Vote skill. Now. Right here. Vote passed. <laughs> yeah, deciding map. Prepare to T7. Fight. All or nothing for both of them. Three, two, one. Fight. Gonna follow strengths right off the bat. He's taking uh, the red armor, yellow rail, nothing out of the ordinary. Kilson having the mega health yellow spawn. Having got he's got the shaft though and he just that very brief fight will probably win him the red armor. Yes it will. 
because he had the shaft, he did some good initial damage, and now Strength is probably gonna try to do some damage while Kilson drops down for the for the red. And actually hitting, I think he hit two good rails there. But and Kilson, because he had to pick up the rail, will miss out on the on the mega here probably. Yeah. Oh, well he hits the rail. But Strength replies with one himself. And Strength winning that mega fight with only seven HP or even less. Five or three, whatever. Hardly anything, that's for sure. So well done. On to Nell. So Kilson waiting at the mega health and now he gets actually spotted by strengths he's taking the teleporter but he will be uh, forced to retreat here just a two ro uh, two rails um you can be lucky that the red is up oh but he should really get out of this room here Kilson will not get very far yep there's the second kill Ah, that rocket uh, will deny strengths to actually fight for that next red armor. So now it's Kilson's turn to turn this map around. Meanwhile, strengths picking up the yellow, uh, the mega health. Kilson uh, a bit too late, but will try to do some damage. Hitting a good rocket, shooting strengths up in the air. And, and I think Kills is in, in a really good position for the next threat. Yeah, he's gonna grab it and Strengths is actually cratering? What's up with that? So I'm specking Kilson right now. It's one to one because uh, Strengths just cratered. Maybe he chose to do though uh, to do so, but I'm really not sure how that happened. was a bit dodgy. Yeah, Mega Health and Red at the same time. Everyone knows what that means. Uh, that if Strength plays it right this time, he can get either the yellow, uh, either the Mega or the Red. And uh, he's positioning himself well. He's getting the Red. So that means... He's borderline back in the game. Kilson having basically everything that he needs, but now he's sort of a bit out of position here. And Strengths is getting pushed away by the Goat Rocks that Kilson's laying down to them. But Strengths is not hitting enough shaft to actually kill Kilson at the red armor. That means he's gonna lose out of the fight and probably will have to leave the the mega health room as well because he can't really stay here and challenge for the for the mega health. I don't I don't think he's gonna do that, but he is. But uh, actually fails, and I think he's really angry right now. Uh, if he's gonna lose out on another two frags, this is gonna be really tough for him. Yep, there's there's one. Impressive. Yep, there's the second one, six to one. So this is re looking really good for Kilson here. Once again, Mega Health and Red are spread apart, so Kilson can choose what item he wants to take. He's gonna take the Red Armor here, and probably uh, go to the Laura Torridor. Nope, he actually is not deciding to go anywhere near there, so he didn't really try to take a peek shot onto Strengths. Strengths, meanwhile, building up a reasonable stack here, 5 racks to go, definitely possible. He's got the armor, trying to set up a trap. Kilson is uh, walking slowly as well. And at, at last they meet at the red, but uh, Strength's already on good positioning on the item. Going back finally to take it. Um, if he's quick enough, he can get on the on the mega health here. And can just push Kilson away, but if, if Kilson just continues to play like this, he's probably just going to try to hit as many rails as he can. And he does that, and he just... Uh, really won that fight just thanks to his superior, his superior rail. And I don't know what Kilson's doing but he took way too much damage in that fight. He should have uh, 
Should have hit better rockets. Anyway, eight to one and seven frags is a lot to make up in, in four minutes, definitely on T7 because I mean Kilson can just plus back with a rail and it, it will take take a while until you actually get him. And because the map uh well you can always just position yourself so that you have a lot of exits because the map is not only very big but also has a lot of big rooms and that teleporter also helps you to get away at times. Impressive. I don't think strengths can pull this back. So this time strengths will be in time for the mega. Did some good damage onto that red early on. Now he's trying to chase uh, down Kilson a bit. Kilson, meanwhile though, trying to slow down the game a bit because he knows, well, I can just run down the clock. I mean, I've got like seven frags that Strengths has to make up, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Try to Impressive. get some uh, sneaky ray shots onto onto Strengths in, in the meantime, and I'm happy, really. Is what Kilson was thinking. <laughs> Yeah, strengths in control. Kilson on the other hand, getting some sneaky rear shots, dropping down for the red. He doesn't have to go for the item per se. And he does not do so. So strengths once again, really, I mean, every time he has got really good momentum, strengths is just punishing him with rail. I mean, Kilson is hitting 66% rail, 20 out of 30 rails. And obviously that is helping him a lot. So six frags, two and a half minutes to go. This is going to be really tough here. Kilson getting a really fortunate spawn. Just getting the mega health off spawn, so to speak. Now just using sound clues to figure out where Strengths is going. Strengths down there. So Kilson just going the opposite direction. Grabbing that yellow. And Strengths trying to find him. Speeding through the map. Now you saw him. So the, the advantage that Strangs ha uh, has at the moment is that he's got a rail and Kilson doesn't. So, but this will probably change right now. Yeah, Kilson just picking up the rail, so. Two minutes, six frags. Gonna be really, really hard. Yeah, I mean, Strengths should just really try crazy stuff right now. Just, I don't know, rocket jump through the map and try to force ridiculous spawns. <laughs> yep. Strengths pissed. Yeah, I can't understand strengths in the way, but I mean that's just the game. If, if that teleporter frag had happened on, on an arrow walk, I mean, you know, that's just stuff that happens sometimes. I mean that's the game. Teleporter frags have always been in, in the game, and I don't think they're gonna remove it just because strengths just lost one tournament because of it. So. I mean, and I think Kilson played really well on this map. I mean, he was hitting all the, the important rails, and he's actually still hitting 70% rail, so... You know, some people once said, if Kilson's rail's on, he can beat anyone, and he just proved that once again. Once again. So that means that Kilson's the winner of the G Sports Cup. Number one, congratulations. And GG. Well, Shanks is still getting 50 euros, so he can be happy. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's about time um, that we wrap this up. So, thanks again for G Sports as well.
for providing uh, the prize money and also making it possible that we can actually cast some uh, really close and awesome matchups. So thanks, thanks, thanks again. So uh, my name is Ishu and I'm also thanking Sloby for uh, helping me stream this final today. Or basically every single matchup. So yeah. Thank you very much and goodbye.